Hi guys, and today we'll be learning on a button control system, or what we also call as a VCS in the Microsoft Dynamic X. So, what actually button control system is a it's a system that manages the change of a source file of your project, and most of the system also support a deployment like a, since we have a Dynamic X and it supports a in support uh, deployment and since the version control system uh, will remember the history of our file and let's say we mess up in our file and it's very uh, handy or it's very easy for us to uh, return back to an earlier version of the file that that was uh, working or that we have made change uh, let's say we did something wrong on uh, this version of a file and we want to go back to a uh, a different version of file, so it's very easy for us to track a change and go back to our earlier version. So I think uh, for every developer, version control system is a, a very easy way to manage our source code. And most of the development uh, system like the ID, like a uh, support nowadays, a uh, uh, version control system. So Dynamic X also has a built-in uh, version control system and it also has uh, support for external version control system uh, like the Team Foundation. Uh, but today we'll go and we see how to enable our version control system built-in in AX, which is Mark PX version control system. And so let's just go and start our uh, project. So let's start uh, on how to enable and set up our version control system in Dynamic X. So for that we have to go to AOT and on the top you can see a version control. Just click over here and go to version control parameter and we we'll enable it. Okay now on the version control system uh, what we'll be using is not. Morphy X BCS. So there are other options also you can see Team Foundation, Visual Source Set. So this others and need a licensing system or you need a different uh, system to manage the version control. So it's a licensing issue. So we we'll, and it's a complex to set up. So we'll be using a version control which is a building in the Morphy X. So just enable it and check color check so if if we have enabled a version control to a particular object uh, you can see a different color and warning so this is a second warning when reverting the object so when you want to revert back to the old object it will show you a warning so let's just click ok so now our version control system has been enabled and we just need to check some system setting and we'll see a nice little slide should be Anything you want, just check as the my project by default. Compiler war uh, warning, you want to accept or not. And error, if there is an error before uh, uh, before you check in, so will it be accepted or not? So you just say accept. Compiler to US, accept best practice error. So if there is a best practice error, just accept or not. So if you want to, don't want to accept when the compiler shows error, then you just prompt or accept or reject so we want to accept so these are the options that uh, is, uh, will be checked when these are the parameters that will be checked when uh, will be checked when we want to check in our source file there is a two options when it's checked in and one is checked out so just enable and say okay And let's create a project, sample project, and a new project. In the project, let me add a group. And group, let me add one table. And let me also add one class just to demonstrate process <coughs> so 
So we will add one table over here. This table. And we will also add one process. Okay, let's save it. So in the project we have a two object, one is class and one is table. So there is the option in the project also you can enable a add to a version control system on the toolbar or you can just right click and uh, add to version control. So on the project also you can add and on the object also you can add. There is two options whether you want to add the port. If you add in the project it's also good because let's say today you come in and select drag uh, added some classes and the tables over here and when you come back tomorrow there is you know the classes has been removed or by another developer or some somebody else so you have to go and find again so and if you have enabled a version control system you just come back and revert it back to our previous uh, changes so we enable in the project i can just add it add to the version control so after you Add this project to the uh, version control system. What we have to do is uh, we need to check in. So check in. We have a description. What what is the description you want to give? This is a uh, let's say uh, project started. Okay. Okay, so now our object has been checked in. So our project has been checked in now. And now you see you cannot add a. If you want to add any new object, you cannot add it. So the, the option has been gone from here. The option has been gone from here. So what is this means that uh, when you checked in you must check out to edit. So if now we have option to check out. Check out means you can again is again available for edit. So you can also enable from here check out. So we we'll just say check out. The project has been check out and if you see now we have option to add a new. So um, let's just also enable on our <coughs> table and also on the classes. So in the classes we will enable a version control system. Okay. And on table also we will add this to our version control system. Okay, so uh, we will also checked in this first okay let's say let's say that's the first version okay and now if you see you cannot add in this uh, view code if you view code then if you just try to add in anything you are not able to do it. so you must check out before you can edit this so if you can if you checked out now you can add it right so for the table also it's same like we just adding this is a first version okay so we have added to our version control system but we haven't added any field and we haven't added any classes so now our version control system is ready and we have already added our object to our version control system so the thing is that uh, so we have to check out first. 
now what we will do is we will add a new class over here a new method so we will add a new method and I think then we just run it so this text method and on the table also we will add a new field and the field we will just type it as a name save all but now what we will do is uh, now we will check in now we will check in this version so we will check in this way and it test method ok and also for this we will checking as a adding new, new field name so now this is unavailable for the and edit so you cannot edit it anymore so it's uh, after you uh, finish your uh, job today so you just check in so it's not available for you to uh, edit but for our other developer when another another developer is coming so he just can right click or he just can check out easily and he can check out and he can continue editing the object so if you if you check in yourself and check out yourself then the another developer have to take permission from you to uh, uh, check uh, again uh, enable the editing for himself so the best thing is uh, you after you finish your job what you have to do is you just check in and leave it the object so when the another developer come in then if he cannot edit he just come and check out so after he check out he can continue editing and he will know that this object has been uh, checked in by another developer previously so our uh, we have a already have a two version so if we go to the history over here if we check a, check a history over here for this we can see here we have a version 1 and version 1 and version 2 so let's say if we want if something went wrong or wrong in this version version 2 so we want to go back to version 1 so we'll just go and get it so our version has been restored to the earlier version and we will also do the same for our table we have two version added new field and the first version so we'll go back to the first version so there's nothing more to do and if you just restore the project and if you see your field has been gone and your new method has been done so which means we have already restored back to the original version so if you want to go back to the current version you can again come back and go to this and get it and we will also do the same for our table and get it so just close it and let you see just restore the product So let us ask him there and I think we wrongly imported the project. So we go back to the added new field version. And we can see our field is over here. So this is a very helpful for our developer. So if we have a small group of developers, just like uh, one to five percent of developer in your uh, Good. so it's very handy and it's very useful to remove this option so if you have a big development team more than five, uh, five like a 10 20 so then you have to enable a version control system on like a team foundation or other but for a small team i think this is a very a helpful and a very good option for a version control system and thank you
Thank you for watching.